This evening, one child is dead following a solo vehicle crash along Highway 1 near Vandenberg Village. KSBY News reporter Jacob Dizon went to the crash site and has an update. Officer Stephen Garricks with the California Highway Patrol tells me the crash happened at about 8 o'clock Wednesday morning when a vehicle with three female passengers heading southbound veered off the road along Highway 1 and flipped over into a patch of nearby brush. Tragically, one passenger, a child, was found dead underneath the vehicle. Garricks tells me another child, as well as the driver, now identified as Lompoc woman Eunice Perez de la Cruz, are in critical condition being treated at nearby hospitals. He says all of the occupants in the vehicle have been accounted for, but due to conflicting early statements from local agencies, additional searches were conducted in the area to ensure the correct number of passengers had been reported. He also says that drugs or alcohol do not appear to be factors in the collision. The driver uh, made a turning movement to the right and uh, went over the embankment causing the vehicle to overturn. Just obviously always watch your speed and uh, make sure you're driving uh, safer conditions. On Wednesday afternoon, I also spoke with the driver who first reported the crash. She tells me that while she was on her way to work on Highway 1, she saw the vehicle in front of her swerve and go flying off the road. She remained on scene to let first responders know what had happened. CHP tells me her call was just one of two that their dispatch received following the collision. We'll continue bringing you the latest updates on this incident at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. Highway 1 reopened to drivers just after 11.30 this morning. The Lompoc Unified School District confirmed that the two children involved in the crash were students at Buena Vista Elementary School. A fifth grade student died in the crash and a second grade sibling was hospitalized. 